Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk about an article that was recently published in this magazine I have here in front of me called The American Entomologist, and was also published in a scientific journal, which I also have here, uh, the Journal of Medical Entomology. And the article was actually a very interesting article in that it talked about the way that bed bugs reproduce and a theory that a lot of experts have had for a long time that that may influence some of the dispersal patterns that we see with bed bugs inside somebody's home. And so what a lot of experts have noticed for many years is that when we see bugs away from a bed, so away from the sleeping area where they're typically hanging out, we usually see females. And a lot of people kind of thought about that and a lot of experts thought about it and there was a theory out there that the way that these bugs reproduce may be the reasons why we see the females dispersing through the apartment. And I'm going to get back to that in a second. I'll explain a little bit more once I go through some basics. So in order to understand where I'm going with this, and this is more of an expert topic, but it's interesting and I think everybody should, you know, hear because it it's a pretty interesting topic. So bed bugs reproduce and the way that they reproduce is a process called traumatic insemination. And what it is is that the male actually takes its reproductive parts and pierces the female's abdomen and then introduces his semen into the actual body cavity of the female which then circulates through the female to the ovaries and fertilizes the ovaries. And obviously this is a very odd reproductive behavior. That's like the equivalent of somebody piercing, you know, a female's just abdomen and that would be how the semen would get into the female to fertilize the egg. And this is very rare, it's not seen in a lot of organisms, but bed bugs do have it. And that's how they reproduce, is through traumatic insemination. And so the theory was is that females, when they're in large aggregations of bed bugs, so say an apartment is really badly infested, and there's hundreds of bugs inside a person's box spring. Well, a female in that box spring will continually be more or less assaulted by the male bed bugs trying to reproduce with her. And all these different male bed bugs will continually be piercing this female's abdomen. And what can happen is that over time, that actually can cause the female to die. She could get an infection or something else could happen where she could die. And so the theory was is that as you get these large groups of bed bugs, the females are trying to get away from the large aggregations, and that's why the bugs are dispersing through people's apartments. Because it was always weird to think that, you know, why are these bugs spreading out the way that they are? It never made sense to a lot of people, and that was the theory. And this article starts to put some science behind that theory. And it basically showed that they did find that when they did lab tests, that females were typically the ones that were getting away from the aggregations of bugs, more so than a lot of the other sexes and the immature bed bugs. And so one of the theories they have to explain this at this point is just that, is that they're trying to get away from the males who are continually trying to reproduce with them. And what that is, is basically the whole behavior behind it is the last, and the thought, this hasn't been proven yet, but the thought is that the last male that injects his semen into the female will be the semen that fertilizes the egg. And so they all just continually keep trying to reproduce with her. And that can subject her to death. And that's why she is, in large aggregations, getting away from the bed. And so that's a theory, like I said, a lot of experts have had for quite some time. And I thought it was pretty interesting that the papers that were recently published did start to talk about that and put some science behind that theory. So all you pest control operators out there, watch when you see bugs away from the uh, actual colonies of bugs in a bed. A lot of times you do see females. And that's some interesting science that explains why that's happening. All right, everybody. So if you have any questions on this topic or any other topic related to bed bugs, please email me at jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And if you want to read these, you can find some PDF versions of these two articles online. You can go ahead and read this exact article. As I said, it's a pretty interesting read. Some pretty neat science to explain some of the things that we see in the field. And it's exciting to see research getting done because for many years research was lacking. And here we are with some good science coming out. All right, everybody, you know the email, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I'll see everybody soon enough.